Hey everyone, this is Uzi with Able Company Ventures. Uh, we help companies around the globe with implementing fever screening procedures using things like this. So today, I wanted to talk to you about non-contact thermometers, right? So when it comes to fever screening in public places or even places of businesses, the most common thing that you're gonna see are these um, non-contact thermometers or maybe colloquially known as a temp gun, right? So there's a lot of good things about the temp gun, but there's a lot of bad things that come with it too. Uh, number one, you gotta make sure that you're using a medically graded one, right? Um, there's a lot of solutions out there. You know, with COVID-19, there's been a flood of solutions coming into market. You just gotta make sure that in the owner's manual or in the manufacturer's stamp, that the temperatures or the systems that you are getting are medically rated. Number two, there's accuracy issues, right? So by their design, these guns are meant to be used uh, in close proximity, right? So what does that mean? Well, for this instance, in this instance, this uh, camera here, this non-contact thermometer needs to be less than three inches away from your face in order to get an accurate measure. In order to get to the manufacturer's design accuracy, you need to be at least uh, no more than three inches away from someone's face. Anything around that, then it's you're subjecting it to a six to one spot ratio. So, you know, if you're six feet away from the person, this temperature measurement is measuring a one foot, you know, a circle, right? So the closer you are, the more accurate it is. But we all know with social distancing provisions, you know, that will come with its own risks. You know, if someone it needs to be three inches away from someone's face to get a uh, accurate measure, they need to be wearing the appropriate PPE. Um, so those are all things that are, you know, go and are involved with not only using the system, but designing an appropriate system for it. Number three, so uh, we talked about a little bit about location, right? So even with distance, there's also making sure that you're scanning the right part of the body, right? So forehead, you know, the chest, the neck. Um, when it comes to mass screening scenarios, people tend to, if they're not trained, just quickly put this out there and get a measure, right? You need to be trained properly and you need to know where to focus these systems at in order to get an accurate measure, right? Um, there's a couple areas of the face uh, as well as the, the head where you can do that, uh, but make sure you are using these in the right location. It could mean the difference between a couple of degrees and a couple of degrees could mean the difference between letting someone into your facility who seems normal, uh, but is actually at uh, a low grade fever range and is able to transmit uh, a disease to someone else, right? And then last but not least, uh, just making sure that we have how well this thing is designed, how far away we're using it from, what location of the body we're using from, but ultimately, these systems don't work in a vacuum. They work in conjunction with the system that you create, right? So if you improperly design that system, you're going to lead to a lot of inconsistencies and you're not gonna to lead to a lot of good consistent results. So if I had to boil it down to the essentials, uh, make sure you're using the right thing or simply use the right tool for the right job. Um, and if you're going to use the right tool, make sure you're using it in the right way. And if you are going to use it in the right way, make sure it is properly, the system which that process occurs in is properly designed for the most consistent and accurate results. All right, um, that's it for today. Hopefully those tips help and I appreciate your time. Catch you next time. So today I wanted to talk to you about um, non-contact thermometers, right? So. When it comes to fever screening,